Fire TV versus Android Box, which one is better? Hello guys, what is up? In this video, we are going to compare and contrast Amazon Fire TV and the Android Box, the best models for each. On Amazon Fire side, it is going to be, going to be the Amazon Fire TV Omni 55 inch. And on the Android Box, it will be the Shield TV Pro streaming media player from NVIDIA. And we are going to start with the Amazon Fire Omni TV first with the pros and cons. The pros are affordable, lots of Fire TV features, hands-free Alexa voice control, well-balanced colors, and low input lag. The cons, however, mediocre contrast and color range, no Apple AirPlay or Google Cast, few gaming features, and Dolby Vision only on 65 and 75 inch models. The Amazon Fire TV Omni 55 inch specs are as follows. Adult type is LED. Screen size is 55 inches. Well, the, the, the smallest one. Resolution is 3840 by 1260. Video inputs are HDMI, USB, and RF. HDR is HDR10. HDMI, HDMI ports, there are four. Streaming services are available. Screen brightness is at 33.65 nits. Black level is at 0.11 CD per M2. Contrast ratio is 3033 by 1. Refresh rate is 60 hertz. VRR is not enabled. Input lag is game mode, which is 2.6 MS for ping. The ping is AMD FreeSync is not available and NVIDIA G-Sync is not available. When it comes to the remote control, the remote is similar to the ones included with Fire TV Media Streamers. It's flat, slightly rounded black rectangle with a large circular navigation pad near the top, power and Alexa buttons along with a pinhole microphone sit above the pad. Menu and playbook controls are below the pad with child and volume rockers below them. For dedicated street, uh, service buttons for Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, and Netflix can be found near the bottom. The remote con connects wirelessly to the TV so you don't need to line of sight, but it also has an IR emitter. Another IR emitter on a long cable can be run into a cabinet to control your other home theater devices through the TV and the remote. One of the Omni's biggest selling points is its support for hands-free voice control with full Alexa capabilities. There is also a handy switch on the front of the display to deactivate the microphone for privacy protection. Though this is far from the only TV to include hands-free voice control, it is one of the more affordable options to offer such a feature. You can ask Alexa to turn the TV on, switch inputs, adjust volume, open apps, pause videos, scroll through menus, and search for content without e even touching your remote control. Alexa can also answer questions, check the weather, set timers, and handle other tasks while the display is off, just like any other Echo device would. Video calls are now a big part of many people's work and home lives, so Amazon includes webcam support for the Omni. You just need to plug a compatible webcam, which is sold separately of course, into the TV's USB port, and you're good to go. The Omni supports video calling using Alexa Communications and the Zoom app. Amazon provided a Logitech C920X with a TV so that people could test the feature and it works really well. Using the Zoom app, we were able to join a meeting with family. The app runs smoothly with no issues. The Omni's image quality can best be described as entry level. The TV lacks many of the superior contrasts and color features you'll find on the step up Omni QLED or mid range sets from brands like TCL, Hisense, and Vizio. As a result, it can, be, it can compete with those similarly priced displays. Now we go to our Android box selection, which is the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. And we're going to start with the pros and cons. As you can see here, the pros are as follows. A versatile and powerful streamer, Chromecast built in, and great gaming features. The cons, however, no longer ships with a controller, no storage boost, and UI needs finessing. So if you use an Android TV device before, you'll know what to expect from the NVIDIA Shield TV. It's pretty much been the vanilla Android TV experience as Google designed it, with some small tweaks, mostly in terms of settings and options, specific to the Shield TV Pro's features. It offers rows of content based on your installed apps. The top row is overview of your most regular used apps, with a row that following offering rich artwork and content recommendation snippets based on what is associated app offers. A new remote control comes in a box with an NVIDIA Shield TV Pro, and it's thoughtfully reconsidered 
Rather than being flat, it is now shaped like a prism and includes dedicated playback controls as well as a selection wheel. A dedicated Netflix button is also included as well as mic on button and a quick menu button that can be customized in the interface to jump straight to any function you choose. And as you can see here, we are in NVIDIA's website with the Shield TV Pro product specs so that we can go over it. So the processor is NVIDIA Tegra X1 plus processor with a 256 core GPU and 3 gigs of RAM. Video features are 4K HDR ready, Dolby Vision HDR and HDR10, AI enhanced upscaling for up to 4K 60fps, up to 4K HDR playback at 60fps, up to 4K playback at 60fps, up to 8 uh, up to 1080 playback at 60 fps and format container support are as follows xvid divx asf and so on and so forth the audio has dolby audio dolby, Digi dolby digital dolby digital plus and dolby atmos dtsx surround sound pass through over hdmi high resolution audio playback up to 24 bit or 192 kilohertz over hdmi and usb high resolution audio up sample to 24 bit by 900, 192 kilohertz over USB. Audio support are AAC, AAC+, EAAC+, MP3, Wave, AMR, OGG, and more. When it comes to the weight and size, the weight is 250 grams. Height is 3.858 inch by 9.8 centimeters. Width is 6.26 inch or 15.9 centimeters. Depth is 1.2 inch or 2.593 centimeters storage has 16 gigs portion of storage occupied by system and software just like a computer expandable using usb flash or hard drives wireless is 802.11 ac 2x2 mimo 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wi-fi bluetooth is 5.0 plus le and captive portal support the interface as you can see are as follows we have a picture earlier gigabit ethernet hdmi 2.0 with HDCP 2.2 and CEC support, two USB 3.0 ports type A. Operating system is Android 11 powered by Android TV with Chromecast 4K built in. Software updates, Shield experience upgrades directly from NVIDIA. And the voice assistants are as follows, Google Assistant and Alexa. Remote, this is the uh, blue, blueprint of the remote as you can see here. There you go, just pause it. And the power is 40 watts power adapter, 5 to 10 watt typical consumption. Gaming features as GeForce Now and Google Play, so you can install any apps from the Google Play Store as you see fit. And yeah, that is the Shield TV Pro for our Android box. And that's pretty much it. That's the video. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell icon. We will see you on the next video.